Um, this is very hard, you know. Like This is so hard. Like, I can't... Can I mention that you're on lap six and I'm on lap three? <laughs> <laughs> we're in Austin, Texas, where Alex Albon just raced in the Formula One Grand Prix. We were lucky enough to catch up with him before the big day. We've had a NASCAR on the show. We've had street cars on the show. We have not yet had an F1 car on the show. Can oh, you wow. please tell us a little bit about this? So more or less, you know, we've got a thousand horsepower. In terms of Gs, we're pulling about five and a half G, which is quite hard to explain to people. I imagine it more like you're driving a roller coaster, right. um, but you're in control of the roller coaster right. pretty much. That's honestly, in terms of forces, that's, that's kind of what we feel when we're driving. The high speed corners, that's where we really feel the grip. And obviously that's really what differentiates us from other series, other categories, um, is our corner speeds, our straight line speeds. Anyone can do. I think um, road cars can even do what we do. Is this car street legal? Could you drive this on the street? You could not, definitely not. You could um, not. <laughs> and it, it's not built for it, so I think it would fall apart. The one thing that I noticed about this car, I think that most people notice, yes. your seat is tiny. It is, How, it is. Are you yeah. comfortable in there? It's body forms. Before every year, we'll spend one or two days at the factory where we basically, they put us into this foam, they fill it up, and the foam comes all around us whilst we're in the car they should kind of basically shave it off, get us out the car, scan it, and put carbon fiber all across it. Wow. And so it's this perfectly formed shape, so wow. it's really comfortable. So you are a Williams driver, we're at the Williams fan zone. Would yes. you mind giving us a tour? I will, um, it's my first time here. <laughs> I've literally just walked through the gates, so uh, we'll, we'll learn it together. We also have to get by all the fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we play a game called Zero to 60 where I ask you rapid fire questions in 60 okay. seconds. Normally, we do it in a car because we're driving with the guests. Sure. Today, we're doing it on a simulator. Yeah, because it's not a two-seater from one car, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. I would have to sit on your lap and that would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay. Oh, this is pretty real. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. You ready? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm ready. Childhood celebrity crush. Oh my god, my girlfriend's right behind me. I'm gonna get in trouble. Um... <laughs> you have to be quick! I'm trying to think! Oh, 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 um, Emma Watson. Emma Watson, that's yeah, a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could drive one street car for the rest of your life. What is it? Street car, a Porsche 911 GT3 Ooh. RS. One race you could take back? Um, Brazil 2019. Favorite F1 driver outside of yourself? George Russell my friends. Okay. Give up F1 driving or always come in last? I'd give up at that point because <laughs> I'm not going to have a career if, I, if I'm coming last. What's your favorite car movie? Oh, uh, Talladega Nights. Ta oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you be if you weren't a uh, F1 driver? Uh, quick, quick. Okay, okay. Uh, I would be an Uber driver. An Uber driver? I would just keep my trade and I'd be the, I'd be the quickest taxi driver in the world. That's my skill, that's my skill set. My there we go. All right, you're done. I know that was tough for okay. you. <laughs> I better actually do a proper lap, else people are going to question my, um, my skills. Who would you say is your biggest competitor? Oh, my teammate. Always is in, in, in what we do. And would you in, say he's your biggest rival? Yeah. 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 You always got to beat your teammate. That's the number one rule in, in racing. So Jensen Button, obviously former F1 driver and champion. What is that like having him as an advisor on the Williams team? It's great because he he's not only you know a racing driver, but he's a he's a world champion. So his input is is so valuable just because you know he he basically gives the team some direction as to where we need to be going into to, to be a world champion like he was. We go casting together. Oh, nice. So. There's a few racetracks in around LA. He's actually really quick as well. I think, honestly, if he was back in a Formula 1 car, he'd be quick. Really? Yeah, yeah. So he should come out of retirement? Yeah. <laughs> so um, a big question I have is, obviously, everyone has seen Drive to Survive. It's become massive on Netflix. How yes. much have you seen like your fame and popularity increase since being on that show? Firstly, you know, my girlfriend didn't know about Formula 1 until Drive to Survive, so I kind of have to thank it slightly for my, <laughs> to my girlfriend. Right. What I've seen is basically America's really taken off. It, it's, been a, it's been a huge success for Formula One. Also, you have to remember that, you know, we've got three races now in, in Formula One where we come to America. It's always sold out. It's become such a huge thing here. And it's actually, in some ways, honestly, it's kind of saved Formula One. It's, it's been really impressive. So uh, it, it's been really good for the sport. Alex, 
Thank you for coming on. I'm gonna catch up. I'm three laps behind you. <laughs> I'm on a good lap right now. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to throw you off so I can catch up right now. <laughs> All right, guys, let us know what you thought of Alex's car in the comments below. Be sure to check out part two of our F1 episode with champion Jensen Button. To check out more Celeb Rides, be sure to click here. And don't forget to subscribe for all new episodes of Drive.